the year of the National Hunt Chase is next. It's a long distance race. Four more, I think. And here it is. It's a 0 to 120 handicap over four miles. And I've totally got Shimon de Fay for Padre Hogan, Matador, Martin Leedham, Summer in the City, Matt Cooper, and Paul Satilla and King of Windsor for Alex Cherry and Optimistic Beach for Stu Gray. Just a small field of six. Optimistic Beach, the rather unlikely looking favourite. Look at those four figures. Long old race this one. Just a six in it, so we don't get too many fallers. Just the one grey in the field. That's matted up. And that one is going to lead them, it would seem, into the first of 25 fences. Right to the first of the 25, and then all over it. Okay. Padraig Hogan, the only trainer in this field to have already notched up a winner so far this season at the festival. And Matador leads. Pace is slow, as you'd expect. And also for the over the second. Optimistic Beach coming around the outside. If he wants to go past this Matador, they're quite happy to let him lead. Not a usual front runner, sir. That's going to work. We'll have to wait and see. The King of Windsor just poking his head in front now. Alex Cherry, the only trying to double handed in this. I feel that quite a few people couldn't get their horses into it because it's a 0 to 120. I'm basically, looking, I suppose, that horses rated between 101. 120 for this race because anything under 100 is probably going to go in whatever distance Hunter there is this week because they're normally very small fields and good opportunity to pick up a win but if you've got a four miler that is rated 0 to 120 this is a good chance to pick up a festival winner and King of Windsor is in the lead for Alex Cherry and Matador second Shimon de Fay third Optimistic Beach is fourth Porter Tiller, fifth, and finally Summer in the City is the back marker. Fence six, which they all get over nicely. This will be the last in two circuits done. All stepped over that well. King of Windsor showing the way to Shimon Defoe, the top weight second. Porta Tiller third, then Matador fourth, Optimistic Beach the bottom weight fifth, and somewhere in the city is just the back mark as they race uphill and take this next one. We'll see if we have that. The King of Windsor bowling along in the lead. Shum on the feet. Matador on the inside of Porter Tiller. And then somewhere in the city, an optimistic beach as they step over number nine. Over the water they go. And suddenly, King of Windsor started to open up into a lead of. Six lengths or so, the Shimon de Fay second, Paul Satil is now clear third as I take this ditch. Matador on the inside fourth. Summer in the city. And finally Optimistic Beach, the back marker. As they step over number 12. I was about to say the jumping's been good so far, but whenever I say that something falls at the next fence. And as I've got one in it, I don't want to risk it. King of Windsor in the lead. I just, I've just said it now. So, Shimon de Fay second. This is a ditch. And they all got over it. Okay. And King of Windsor then, as we have a look from the airship. Like years and years and years. It was always called the Goodyear Blimp, wasn't it? Well, and then on Goodyear, something or other. Uh, not necessarily always them now. King of Windsor in the lead. Oh, 
Schumann de Faye second, Matador third, Porsatilla fourth, and somewhere in the city and finally Optimistic Beach. It's obviously a positively thinking tree rather than a positively thinking lot of sand. And King of Winds is in the lead. Cherry. Chamon de Fay second. Matador third. Portatilla four. Somewhere in the city five and optimistic beach six as they take the two in the straight. These will be the last two next time round. They're all jumping nicely. the stand and I'll swing out now one more circuit of the track King of Windsor happily bowling along in front from Chamon de Fay second and Matador third and Paul Tatilla and somewhere in the city and finally Optimistic Beach but there's nothing out of this yet I've oh, got perfectly good chance of winning at the moment King of Windsor, only by two or three now. So Matador has moved through into second. As they take that plain one. Shawn de Fay third. As the field start to bunch up, head towards the water jump. With King of Windsor now almost being joined by Matador. And Shawn de Fay is three lengths back in third. And somewhere in the city he's now moved through to fourth. Pulls a tiller and then optimistic big shoes. Still last, but he's creeping closer and looks to be travelling pretty well. And as King of Windsor leads him into this ditch, Matador jumped alongside. Gap of two then to Chamon de Fay, Pulsatilla, somewhere in the city. An optimistic beach are now virtually in a line. Over the 21st they go, slightly better jump by King of Windsor. Matador just being nick all along to keep up his work in second. Couple of lengths back to Optimistic Beach, who's now moved through into third and looks a big danger. Still wouldn't rule anything out though. Shall the fan under a bit of pressure. This is the fourth last, the final ditch. Slow jump by Matador allows King of Windsor to go back into a two length lead. Matador still second. Pulls a tiller. He's now third. Optimistic Beach looking a big danger on the outside. Fourth in Shimon de Fay. Somewhere in the city just dropping off the pace a little bit. As the leader, King of Windsor, kicks on again with three to go, and stable companion Pulsatilla is now coming through to challenge. Optimistic Beach still looks to be travelling best of all. Chamon de Fay and Summer in the City it looks like they might be thinking they've had enough. Matador's trying to fight back. This is the third last. Over it in the lead goes King of Windsor. Pulsatilla's down. Pulsatilla's gone when challenging, and now suddenly Chamon de Fay gets a second win, but it's King of Windsor who's gone five or six clear again from the woefully one pace. Matador in second, then Chamon de Fay and Optimistic Beach. They've still got two to get over and it's King of Windsor who's in the lead from Matador who's now starting to close Chamon de Fay and Optimistic Beach are next somewhere in the city's beaten they're racing down towards the final two and King of Windsor has been in the lead pretty much all the way but the three behind are in a line and closing the challenge King of Windsor then with two to jump from Optimistic Beach in second then Matador and Chamon de Fay over the second last they go and King of Windsor is still the leader from Optimistic Beach in second King of Windsor over the final fence land in front, here comes Optimistic Beach Matador trying to get between the two of them there's a furlong still to go and it's King of Windsor in front but Optimistic Beach is starting to wear him down on the outside and Optimistic Beach has burst into the lead now and Optimistic Beach is going to take the gear of the National and choose Optimistic Beach wins it for Steve Gray King of Windsor is second Chamon de Fay was third Matador fourth and then somewhere in the city was back in fifth and Alex Cherry must have thought he got himself a winner there. But Stu Great, resurgent Stu Great, sadly can't be with us for Cheltenham due to all the commitments, but he'll be pleased with that one. Optimistic Beach takes it. Hopefully, make up for the disappointment of him not being able to run his triumph hurdle horse. So Stu Great takes that with Optimistic Beach. Show on the face second. Padraig Hogan, King of Windsor, third for Alex Cherry. Matador. For Martin Lennon was fourth and somewhere in the city for Matt Cooper was fifth.